We are now joined by Matt Kenseth, driver of the number six Oscar Mayer Ford. We'll open the floor to questions. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get a wireless microphone to you. Okay, we'll start here in the middle, work our way back. Jacob Seelman, Speedsport Magazine. Uh, Matt, you've had success at this track before. Roush Fenway has obviously had success at this track before. What does it mean to kind of marry the two together again? And what does this race mean to a driver, yeah, just the Southern 500 from a prestige standpoint to win? Yeah, I mean, I've always felt like the Southern 500 is one of the biggest, um, I don't know, three or four races of the year, you know, in my mind. So I remember uh, watching this race um, before I started driving and then watching the cup races when I was still running the then Bush Series races. And uh, it was one I look forward to every year. And it's, um, it's still the same way. It's fun to come down here, especially on Labor Day weekend. Um, I think when we were fortunate enough to win this race in 2013, I think it was, it was... Uh, one of the most exciting wins we've probably ever had. So it's a, it's a really neat track. It's one that everybody wants to uh, win at for sure. Matt, James Jackson, ESPN Radio and New Mexico Motorsports Report. What has been the hardest part for you in this return to Roush Fenway Racing this season? And what are some of the good things that have happened this season that you really appreciate in your return? Well, honestly, the hardest part has been um, these guys handing out wiener whistles in the middle of me doing this. It's very distracting. <laughs> Everybody's looking at them and laughing and giggling and like wondering what they're supposed to do with them. And uh, I'm trying to concentrate on your question. Um, uh, probably the hardest part is just kind of coming in uh, somewhat mid-season, partial season, um, you know, doing part-time, trying to get some momentum, trying to get, you know, lay of the land and um, trying to get things things rolling um, for me has probably been uh, you know kind of the hardest part just has been a different role and there's just a lot to a uh, lot to learn a lot to take in you know a lot of a lot of a lot of differences so just trying to trying to figure out the people in the system again and and um, kind of where we're at where we need to go that type of thing come up front to Bob Bob Parker CSPN I, I saw where at Richmond you said kind of no decisions yet have been made about next year but do you want to come back like I mean has this been enough fun and en have you seen enough that would make you want to return to full-time racing well i mean again i'm just kind of honestly concentrate on the rest of this season and, and trying to get this done so um you know those are probably things we'll talk about at a, at a later date but um the season's been uh you know it's it's been up and down i wish the results were better than what they were but yet on the other hand i feel like we have made a lot of progress it doesn't really show uh, necessarily in the stat sheets or the the box score all the time but I feel like we made a lot of progress and um, really just trying to trying to keep that going and keep moving forward and keep trying to get more competitive by the end of the season. Man, quiet room. Matt, Woody came with MRN just uh, looking ahead to next week. Yeah. In the years past, the end of the regular season has been at Richmond with a short track atmosphere. How do you think that might play out differently at a place like Indy with the different challenges that that track presents? What was the first part of the question? Oh, was that the cutoff race? It is now, oh. yeah. Um, I'm not being silly. I haven't really, really thought about any of that stuff for the first time ever, so it's been been different. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I just uh, I, I look, them all, look at them all as a, another race, and uh, the challenge that particular weekend, I haven't really put any thought at all into being a – you know the cutoff race for the playoff start really so i'm not sure that it'll uh, it'll change a lot of things for there but i and, and i honestly don't even know what anybody's situation is so tough question for me to answer pete yakabelli associated press matt uh piggybacking off that i was going to ask is it a little weird for you not to be concerned about playoff position or what's going to be ahead is this a strange is it a strange situation for you and if or have you gotten used to it that this is the way it's going to be this year? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's been strange. It's just been different. You know, it's been interesting for me to, to get in and kind of drive for a while and then step away for a few weeks and kind of take a different uh, a view of, uh, uh, you know, the team, the sport, the race weekends, the way things go down, you know, kind of from TV and reading notes and watching data and, like, doing those kind of things. So um, it's been interesting. I feel like I've, I've learned a lot, and it's definitely a, a different uh, a different perspective. I don't, I don't know if it's been weird. It's just been different. Over to Jerry. Jerry Jordan, kicking the tires at net and PRN. Well, have you know your future being not certain in the sport? Have you decided you like staying here and you want to come back and race next year in Cup? Or have you, or is there any talks uh, going on 
There were a few rumors out there earlier today. Man, I think I already gave you the best answer or non-answer I could come up with with Bob. I think he just pretty much repeated his question. So just go back in the notes and just repeat my answer, whatever I gave Bob. I don't think I can give a non-answer that good again, so you're going to have to go back and look at the transcript. Yeah. <laughs> Over to Lee. More specifically, if something like the 41 came open and they asked you if you wanted to do something with them, I mean, would it, you know, is, is would that be an option? Because, I mean, you know, clearly you came back as a favor to Jack, but, um, you know, if there was something out there that perhaps was more compelling, would it change your mind? Again, I'm just trying to uh, you know, get around the best we can this year. I, I'm not really uh, certainly talking about next year, and I haven't really even put as much thought into it as you all have, honestly. So I still got, um, I think it's seven races left this season. Trevor's got a few races. Uh, uh, I have not uh, made the impact at Roush Fenway Racing, at least in the, the, the finishes and the performance necessarily as I, as I hoped or as big a one as I hoped. So um, that's really all I'm thinking about right now is trying to uh, get the performance better and uh, try to do a better job for those guys and get the cars faster and get better finishes and, and get the team operating better, get me operating better, all that kind of stuff. I'm not really looking forward right now. Yeah, that one I could for sure answer for me. I have exactly 0% interest in ownership of a race car. <laughs> that one I'll give you a straight answer on. Thanks, Nate. Uh, Nate Ryan, NBC Sports. I have two for you, Matt. Hi, Matt. Nate. Hey, how you doing? Good non-answers to our questions <laughs> so far. Um, when, when, have you ever not run for points and just showed up and just raced th this way, you know, not week to week? You know, has this ever occurred be before in your career? Have you ever been in this sort of position? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, um, uh, yeah, I mean, to give you, a, to, first of all, answer the, the answer you want me to give you, um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, we raced, um, you know, before my rookie year, we ran five or seven races or something like people used to do before they went first year full time. Uh, my first year in the then Bush series, uh, we think we ran like half the season or something. I came in in like April and finished the year, uh, that type of thing and late model stuff. But, um, you know, contrary to popular belief, I've never raced for points. I've raced each race to try to go out and do the best I could, try to win, try to try to uh, you know finish that race as high as you can. If you can't win, um, and that's not really any different of an outlook as it is today. Um, but one thing I have learned from being at home and watching TV is, as much as we try to make everything not about points, that's all you hear on TV is points, points, points all the time. <laughs> and uh, so I don't I don't want to hear it anymore. I just show up to race and try to finish the best I can. That's all I've ever really done. It's just there's this big conception that everybody's like. You race for points. Well, the better you run and the better you finish, you always just got more. It's just the way it worked. I might have answered my next question, which is you, you said you, you've learned some things. Is that your number one takeaway? Is that maybe people are focused too much on points rather than the racing? <laughs> well, I, I do find that interesting um, because it was supposed to be not about that. And when you turn it on, you hear it a lot. I mean, like maybe not every lap, but every two laps, you hear something about some kind of point. <laughs> And uh, which is crazy. Uh, that part, just as far as just the watching and what everybody's focused on, that that part surprised me a little bit. But other than that, it's just been different. I, I've enjoyed watching. Uh, uh, it's always been weird, you know, for me for whatever other reason. If somebody would drive, quote unquote, your car, whether it's testing or whatever it is. Uh, but this has been interesting. It's been interesting to watch, uh, you know, Trevor drive and then read his comments and watch his data and listen to what he says and see kind of what Ricky says and kind of take a a different view of everything. Um, than necessarily when you're at the track all the time. Um, so in a way, it's been good to kind of back up and get away and kind of kind of watch and see what goes on. Because there's a lot of things you miss when you're just in the car. Huh? I can't tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> Any additional questions for Matt? They're done with me. Okay. Thanks, All right. Matt. Thanks, guys. Good luck this weekend.